Hey, that's what makes this all so much fun is because you never know what's going to happen. I would never have predicted that, ever. Happy birthday! Birthday boy! And you guess what we get to do for your birthday? We get to go catch a hawk. Yesterday when I was there doing a scouting mission, I could not find the hawk. But as soon as I left, hawk showed up. They said they saw it? Yeah. And uh, Jenna's coming with us. It's my very first hawk rescue. I'm and, really pumped. And she's in her brand new Wildlife Command Center shirt. I was going to say, wow, that's like... Uh, Pretty yeah. spiffy. Very Monacana. Oh, you're making me breakfast, too. Well, since... Since we don't have any animal people here this morning, not till late tonight, I wanted to go ahead and feed the lemurs a little something extra for my birthday. They always love it whenever I give them extra, so they like me more. Uh, this one here is Bruce. Bruce. Yep. Little and, Brucey. And we, and we named him after Bruce Willis. All right, name of the game. Keep your heads low. What? Get in, get out. This ain't right. So we got the call for this hawk rescue yesterday. Yes. And it's in a warehouse. Yes, it is. And uh, it's not just a warehouse. It is an industrial facility, like injection molding. So there's big, huge equipment everywhere. It's loud. It's big. Like, it must be seven acres at least. Plus, it has a warehouse attached to it. The challenge is going to be even just to find the hawk because it's just a hawk's this big and the warehouse is this big. We waited a day, get a little bit more hungry. And hopefully when we spot it, it'll go for the trap. Yeah, it'll be hungry enough today to go for a trap. Uh, it is a Cooper's Hawk. I saw a picture of it. It's a juvenile Cooper's Hawk. They have super high metabolisms. So um, it's going to go pow, straight down. Catch. Warning, gerbils and mice pee and poop. Hello, my pretties. <laughs> Towel is required. Hey, hey, hey. How are you, sir? Good, how are you? Oh, real good. Has anybody seen the hawk this morning? Uh, not this morning. They did say the last time they seen him, he had went to our new warehouse that was being built. The one that's being built or the one that's got the goods in the back right-hand corner? Okay, so th they seen him there yesterday. Uh-huh. Started doing skylight thing again, and yeah. then somebody seen him fly off into the warehouse, which okay. it's much quieter back there. So, so can you take us back there first then? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we already signed all of our disclosures okay. and waivers and stuff. Good deal. You gotta, you gotta be systematic. So walk down the center right here because uh, if he's sitting still, he's not gonna move. There's a lot of restrictions on what we can film here, but the boxes are super high up too. So not only is this a huge space, but it makes it really hard even just to see a little bit of the ceiling. So when we look up, we can only see that far away and this thing goes for acres you weren't kidding about this place being big it is very large it's like finding a hawk in a haystack it's a lot of walking a lot of looking up and a lot of hoping you walk in the right spot and you look at the right time like and even in a home depot it's difficult to find a hawk in that space how many home depots would you say this place is oh this place this is like at least nine Home Depots. This place is <laughs> it's huge. like really large. But I, I have a feeling we're gonna <clears throat> come across them here in a minute. And uh, then we're gonna go, oh, there's that. And I'm gonna go, Jenna, run back and get the trap. And Jenna's gonna go, where am I? So one of the great things about walking this much is I get a lot of steps in and I, uh, I get a lot of Pokemon Go steps in and I hatch a lot of Pokemon Go eggs. Cause you gotta walk to hatch your eggs. There's a ton of people working here and it's so loud. We actually have to wear hearing protection so I can't even hear myself talk. No clue if this is coming through. They've got a huge warehouse area where they have a lot of their machinery and it's super loud over there. It could accidentally go over there and get stuck, but we're hopeful that it's over on this side because the area we're covering is about four Home Depots right now by itself. Okay, I got it. It's in the new warehouse area where the lights were on where we first came in in the back where there's nothing. Nice, I'm at the front of the new warehouse area. He's just sitting on the ground right now. All right, I'm right behind you. Has he got anything in his talons? He looks like he's like over something, you know? His wings out. Oh, he's just dirty. He might be so tired he can't do anything. Since he's on the ground, you want to point them more, point one of them more oh, towards okay. him? 
Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put the trap right over here. This is a good spot. The bird definitely can see it from that direction right there. Maybe a little bit of movement by these gerbils and uh, we'll get him caught pretty quick. I think he's up here. Yeah, he's looking at it. He's pretty interested. I think I'm gonna move the trap over more into his line of sight, see if we can't get him to come down to it, but it's not looking real good. This bird just doesn't seem interested in food right now. I don't know that we're gonna have much luck with this trap. Far corner now. Where'd he go? Far corner, all the all way right. down left on the pipe. All right, so you keep an eye on it, like stay within a, a pole's length of it, keeping an eye on it. I'm gonna chase it around and see what it does. If I could keep him flying, he'll make a mistake and go down to the ground. I can catch him. He's going to fly down left. Ha, 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 ha. So I'm going to run back to the office and get a paint pole and a net. If he's doing that, we can catch him with a net. So he doesn't have much interest in the trap. I think mostly because he's a little scared right now just with everything that's been in this warehouse. So Jenna and I have the task of watching this hawk while Michael goes back to the office. There it goes, it's flying again. So what Jenna's trying to do is just keep it in this warehouse space. Because if it flies back on the other side of the warehouse, it could be another two hours before we find it again. There you go. It's fine there, Jenna. As long as he stays in here. As long as he stays in here. If he, if he sat there, I'd just let him sit. It's crazy because it's right next to this tree. So you would think that it would say, oh, I need to go through that door. But they're so disoriented when they get in here. I don't know, I mean, it doesn't seem injured. To me, it's flying all right. Yeah, and like it's landing fine, it's not holding anything. I think it's fun. Do you want to try to see if we can spook it? Yeah. You just want to come up left and I'll come up right and see yeah. if we I'll can't get this, I'll take this middle path. see if we can't get it to walk out. See if his microphone picked up. Hey, the keep the camera the right on him. Hey, keep the camera right on him. Yeah, there he is. Keep the camera right on him. Let's just rush him so he goes out the door. Well, we were. I saw your mic pick up, so I said let's wait, but that's what we were just talking about. Yeah, let's uh, let's push him straight out that door. So a win is a win, getting the bird out of the warehouse before it dies. Yeah, let's just walk up on him, see if he'll go straight out that door. There you go, go baby. You can do it, go out the door. Just walk real slowly towards him. Come a little bit towards me, Jenna. Go baby, out the door, out the door. Come on, you can do it. Just go, the door, the freedom, it's right there. Perfect! Oh, yeah! So you see, it doesn't matter that you actually have to put your hands on the hawk. The fact that the hawk is out, it can go get itself some water, and it can have a good time. It can enjoy its life now. Bye, Mr. Juvenile Cooper's Hawk. It was really nice knowing you. Well, that was fun. Yeah, it was. Got a little hot, got a little sweaty, got a successful rescue. No, I had to make this. I had to find the pole, but I had seen it earlier yesterday. Michael, this net seems a little small. Huh? This net seems a little small. If I had to chase it around more, it would have worked. I have full confidence in this piece of equipment. Whether we catch it and put our hands on it, whether it gets out before we get here, or whether we push it out a door, anyway, it's a win because the hawk's going to be okay. I mean, the odds of that bird coming down to that puddle and that door in this space. Hey, that's what makes this all so much fun is because you never know what's going to happen. I would never have predicted that ever. So he's weak, but he'll go sit in a tree somewhere and recoup. He'll go down and drink some water and then he's going to go eat a couple of grasshoppers and then he'll be a little bit of energy. Then he'll go eat a frog like one of the water frogs out there by the pond and then it'll be good to catch birds again. Y'all make up a great entourage. <laughs> Little did you know for your birthday you'd be participating in a wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> wet Wildlife Command Center t-shirt contest.
What's for lunch? Pork chops and rice. Oh, wonderful. Well, you got any uh, final words for people or want to send them off in a nice, warm, fuzzy way? So, you know, when you're in the rescue business, you got to be flexible. You got to be willing to pivot. Getting the hawk out of the warehouse, that's the end goal. However, you have to make that happen. You just need to be able to figure that out and, and make it work and go with it and be okay with it. Also, if you're brand new to our channel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and then turn on that bell notification so every time we drop a new video or a video short, you'll get a notification and then give us a big thumbs up and leave a comment. Everybody's commenting and I answer them all. Are we doing anything special in Vegas this weekend? This hey, let's drops, go to Vegas. This video drops Saturday and we're going to Vegas on Sunday. I am gonna eat a lot of bacon. I am going to go get a massage every day and I'm gonna eat mango sticky rice every day. So if you're in Las Vegas, we'll be there. Come see us. Hey, one of our subscribers won, won tickets. Oh, one of our subscribers is going? One of our subscribers is going. Wow. She won tickets to the premiere of Death Club, which I have a very interesting role. That'll be a good one. That's gonna be a good one to watch. All right, enjoy your pork. Mmm. <laughs>